Hello there and welcome back to another episode of Noble Fates. Now here are our three colonists. We got Stu, Sloan and Steph. Stu right now is cutting some trees for us because we definitely are going to need some more lumber. Um, we are already expanding the bedrooms. Oh, uh, are ready. Got three in here. And uh, Sloan... Slow one seems to be gathering some stone. And then uh, Steph is learning how to build butcher tables. So that's another interesting aspect as well. After Steph learns the butcher tables, that means only Steph is going to be able to build them. If anyone else wants to construct a butcher table, then uh, they will also have to learn how to construct those things. So that's definitely, um, I guess in some ways, can be a little bit not ideal, I suppose. But in a way, it sort of makes sense. It's, uh, it's a different spin to this, and uh, yeah, it's fine. Now, we got a notification here that uh, Steph wants to have a one one prestige table. So what we have done, is this the Steph room? Yes, it is. We've queued up a little table, which uh, I think one of them will have to learn. Right. Uh, things seem to be going all right for my little friends. Oh. All right, so they're going to send us some more demons. Now, I don't remember if that's going to happen straight away or maybe a little bit later. Maybe a little bit later. But okay, for the time being, we are safe. Uh, never mind, there is a portal right next to us. Uh, okay, well, that's going to be fun. Let's just uh, speed up the time. I think it was still going to be one, maybe two imps. We'll see. Now, another thing, what we have done here, let me just pause it for a second, how much more time we have? We have 10 minutes. Um, so, Sloan has constructed or crafted a bedsmanship, a stone axe, and some of those different items that they make as well have um, bonuses. Oop, quick autosave, here we go. So, this one, for example, gives us um, plus one into the build building one. So, checking on who's our main construction worker, that seems to be Steph. So, Steph, how about you equip this one instead? And what happened now is because um, Steph's construction has gone up to two, I suppose. We now have unlocked a few more different buildings. So, now we can build the, the stove, we can do wooden beds, real skulls, bronze scones. Uh, uh, boundaries, wooden stairs. Oh, that's great. Stairs is something I definitely want to get into. Monsters are attacking. We have a lesser imp in here. Okay, everyone, it is time to fight once again. Let's go. And we'll speed it up. Well, that was quick and easy. Beautiful. How about we are... Well, we're gonna butcher him as soon as we have the table ready. But he didn't really drop... Uh, we got some October, uh, October berry seeds. Uh, I guess these could be useful. But, uh, right. We have now... Well, not we. Steph has learned the butcher table, so... Uh, now we should... Oh, morale boost. Oh. Host a feast. Let's do it. Everyone's going to have a bit of a party now. Um, it's not really useful right now because everyone's mood is up already anyways. But they are all asking for a speech. So, Stu. Thank you. Thank you. What a great speech indeed. Uh, so, we've got a couple of options here. We can recognize accomplishments. And let's see what happens. Oh, either way, everyone's going to get a morale boost. So, yep, that is fine. There we go, and sway opinions, well, spread some gossip and make them dislike someone. Oh, and uh, lastly, we can inspire efforts, because there is a lot of construction happening. Why don't we inspire construction efforts? And there we go, finish the speech. And we've got some visitors. Great, yeah, come by. Make yourself comfortable as well. Fantastic, okay, everyone, party's over. Get to work now. Yeah. You come bearing presents, is it? No, I don't think so. Um, so let's have a quick chat with uh, Yo's over here. Let's see if we can uh, become friends with them as well. Let's see what's on their mind. 
Uh, okay, so we are getting some uh, some gossip. It's gonna we're gonna learn about the kingdom and what is around essentially. Uh, let's see. We are neutral. Oh no, we lost a lot of reputation reputation with them. Yikes. Um, let's see if we can bring it up again. Uh, that's not very useful information, but okay. Um, well, I'm gonna go through this, try and sway their opinion of us, and then uh, once we do it, I'll be back. Alright, we didn't quite make uh, make it to friendship level with the diamond people, but they have spread some gossip with us. And uh, let's have a look. So we've got the chairman Sam over there for the diamond crumbs. And a few of their minions. Okay, they've got a quite a quite a sizable colony already. Sweet. Other than that, we've also unlocked a whole bunch of other things. I'm not gonna go through this whole list, but um, that's definitely some... Uh, let's see... Uh, basic chests and the shelves are probably the ones that I'd like to get my hands on as well. Because this... Um, although this stockpile is probably great for what we need right now, in the long term, we do want to start using uh, shelves because that means we can get more more items in uh, in the in the space that we that we have in here. Now let's have a look. We would like to start putting down some stairs as well to let people go up. So let's check the construction out real quick. And seems we only have access to the basic stairs, but I think um, that should be fine. And by putting them. I don't think, well, we could do the spiral ones here later on, but for the time being, I guess something like, like this will be sufficient. And, whoa, okay, we got some really nice floors in here. And um, where this matters as well, I really like how much information this game already gives you. Uh, we can see all the stats, the quality, the health, the prestige. Uh, this is all fantastic and will allow us to plan a little bit, a little bit better. Uh, but for the time being, with the resources that we have, I think we're just gonna go with the basic and try and improve the the well-being with some decoration items. Let's quickly check their prestige as well. Uh, right, Stu's gonna need some more stuff. His ambition is already higher than what we can provide right now. Steph seems to be doing alright. And, well, slow one. Okay, how about we give them... Uh, let's see, if we go into furniture, we'll give them a small table in the room, so everyone's gonna have their very own table. And Stu seems to have leveled up, so... Let's take a quick look. He is level 6 now, which has increased the mining, building, logging and farming. Very great indeed. I think we'll have to be a little bit careful how fast we advance in those levels because um yeah his ambition is probably gonna go even even higher now so yeah let's see what else can we do insufficient stone well maybe we get some more stone real quick as well we'll zoom in so we're not highlighting everything but that should be uh, should be a good amount yeah let's bring it down again as to oh okay we are Starting to... Nice. And I've queued up a few uh, few cooking jobs here as well, so hopefully... We can make some more... Uh, well, the first meat of our colony, I suppose. Now, next things, uh, since we do have some imp skin in here, it would be lovely if we uh, put the tannery... I guess here is fine. We'll get this up next, and any sort of hides that we get... We'll stick them in the tannery and then we'll be able to craft some more advanced uh, gloating items as well. Uh, cool, so let's have a look at a couple, couple of other construction items. They, have they done the tables already? No, maybe we'll give them a slightly higher priority. Oh, there you go. And Stu is cooking away. We've got some nice uh, imp cooked meat now. And we'll see if anyone wants to eat them. 
Actually, yeah, Savior Stu and Steph both really love that. So that's actually great. We're definitely going to make some more imp meat in the future. Uh, but let's cut some more wood. We do have 300, so that should be enough for our needs right now. Cotton seems to be okay, and food reserves are pretty decent as well. But we'll, we'll take a bit more. And um, because we can only uh, queue up five items here, it's probably not a bad idea if we start queuing up some more workbenches. So let's do another crafting one just over there. You also have access to foundry and stove, but they need a fire source next to them. So how about we put one here and then we can actually, never mind, let's build it just on this side. So I just want to see if the campfire will work. It's technically next to it, but I don't know if the game will think that it's next to it. So let's see how this goes. Have we already tamed the cow? We have not. So what's going on? Cow is resting. Let's give it a slightly higher priority because we definitely want to want to have the cow with us. And in the future, once our levels go a little bit higher in ranching, we'll be able to milk them and therefore have an additional source of food. We are already in summer as well, so we'll definitely have to start stockpiling up on, on a bit more food. Uh, we'll let them construct those things there. And I was thinking... Well, we could use another spare room. So maybe we'll go up uh, up towards here. But we just need to let them catch up with all this massive list of jobs. Oh, a few more level ups. Let's do that. Uh, level 6 now. Nursing, cleaning, foraging and hauling have gone up. And slow on... Ooh, wait. Your levels are pretty low. Where... Where's your room? So this is Steph. This is... Oh, that's changed for some reason. It's, it seems it's reset itself. So let's do... I think that was slow one, wasn't it? Yeah, Steph, slow one, and Stu. If we check you now... Okay, so that's pretty high for all of you. Fantastic. Right, what are you guys up to? You're learning cow taming. Okay, great. Storing wood and Stu, our mighty savior is taking out the trash right now. Fantastic. We'll keep it sped up and I uh, really want someone to start putting down some plants. But let's just have a look. Who's doing farming for us? That is Steph. And Steph... Um, <laughs> well, let's see, Steph, what are you doing right now? Why are you learning cow taming? Oh, because we gone to farming. Probably we don't have any seeds. Well, gonna have to try and find some, uh, perhaps some pumpkin seeds somewhere on the map. But that's gonna be a challenge itself. Uh, so I guess right now, maybe in the autumn season, we'll just try and store up more of those uh, October berries. And maybe we can get some corn seeds as well. Mm, is there anyone on this map? No. We could try and also trade with uh, other people. What are you up to? Just relaxing. Okay, great. Well done. Slow one. Oh, you can level up once again. Level five. Melee cleaning, logging. Great. And let's see what kind of abilities we can get now. Oh, a couple of passive ones. Uh, increase the hauling or building. But you're you're not really a builder, are you? Hauling. Um, <laughs> well, building would be great to increase, but that's just the wrong person. You know what? Maybe into hauling. Let's see, that was Sloan. So, Sloan, what's your hauling? Okay, five. Right, yeah, he dislikes building, so... We're not gonna make him build anything just, uh, just yet. Right, Steph, how far are you with the cow taming? 44%, that is not bad at all. I think tomorrow... It's almost night time right now, so maybe tomorrow we can... We can get this done. And um, I think we are going to have to put some temporary shelves somewhere. Because that storage area is building or filling up rather quickly. Wait, we do have corn seeds. So... Wait. What is going on? 
needs to be planted in the summer. And who was our farmer? Oh, that was Steph. And he's busy with other things, isn't he? Crafting. Now he should be he should be doing farming next. Uh, maybe he just wanted to do the tame the cow and then he'll get to the farms. We'll see how it's gonna go, but it is another night time, so we'll try and ask them to focus on on a few things uh, next. Uh, what would also be lovely is to have a have a dining room. And uh, well, these are corridors right now, and these doors. But um, maybe we could put something in here. If we take a look at the furniture, we also have access to a slightly larger table, and a few people could sit around this one. Uh, but all this space is not really perfect. It would be nice to have a like a storage room with the with the food included there. So maybe somewhere up here. Uh, I think no one's really building. Steph, why are you not building? Does that mean we don't have any more logs? No, we don't. We got some wood. Okay, so he's repairing something. The straw beds. Uh, this reminds me, we should probably do some nicer beds now. Now that we have access to them. So let's put one in here. Give this a slightly... Higher priority. And once we learn it, that should definitely increase. Uh, what happened now? Oh, Steph has learned the cow taming. Okay. Well, that's good. And now he's learning how to construct those beds. Um, how quick is it going to go? Well, you're 20% already. So how about we move this bed into that room? So it's going to be out of the way, which allows us to specialize this building into uh, I think it was Sloan's bedroom wasn't it yeah it is okay carry on minions please have this done ASAP 54% right now 66 and all he's gonna need is a bit of wood we've got time it's only 12 o'clock right now um, can't really tame the boars just yet but soon, I guess once we tame a few animals, then we'll be able to do that as well. Steph, what are you up to? Taming the cow again. Oh, the bed is done. Okay, great. Get rid of this one. Oh, we've already done it. And that means Sloan, this is your room now. Let's take a look. 52. What? I thought it's going to be higher. Hmm. Well, that's bizarre. Oh, well. I guess it's fine. We'll, we'll try and put a few more decoration items in their rooms a little bit later. And we got the cow now. 10% only. Okay, so it's going to take a little bit longer. It seems someone has started with the farm. Uh, I forgot already who's... Um, Steph, okay. Doing the cow. Where are you? Oh, that cow is far away. It's almost off the map. Okay, you carry on, Steph. That cow is going to be vital to our success. Not really, but it's going to be great to have some animals that stick around and, uh, yeah, help our colony in the in the future as well. Cool. Now, what shall we do next? So many things that are unlocked right now, but we just don't have enough uh, colonists. It would be great if we get some more visitors and then we could try and recruit some as well by going through the endless dialogues with them, make them like us, even love us, and then uh, essentially try and recruit them once that is done. Okay, so Sloan's now started plowing those farms, so that's great. We can't learn the October berries just yet. What about meal beans? Do we even have any seeds? No, these are pumpkin seeds. Okay, they're going to be very useful as well. Where's the pumpkin one? Pumpkin farm is over here. Okay, I'm really hoping he's gonna finish the farms. Maybe tomorrow then. Uh, how far are we with the cow? 26%. So yeah, that's definitely gonna take uh, quite a long time. All right, we finally have uh, finished the corn farm. And it seems Loan has taken the initiative to learn how to plant corn. And he's almost... Yep, he's done. And now he's gonna plant some corn stalks. Oh, the shield keeps are incoming. Alright, what does that mean? Uh, that is who? Oh, it's these guys. So, 
Where are they? Well, I thought it, I thought it, uh, we're getting attacked again, or raided, but um, no. Cow taming, forty percent now. Stefan, where are you? Just out here, chilling out, having some food. Okay, and here we go. Uh, there's two of them. Oh wow. Okay. Uh, everyone, two arms. Let's. Uh, Ooh. Let's see how this one's gonna go. Is everyone ready? Let's uh, pull back a little bit. Let's stay grouped up. And... There we go. Let's take down Zizzle. He seems to be the leader of... Uh, of our enemies, so if we take him down... And our Steph is uh, getting quite a few hits in. Oh no, they're retreating already. Well... Ah, uh, that's a shame we didn't get any of them down, but that's, uh, that's alright, I suppose. You guys keep running. I guess they realized, finally, that, uh, we are not the ones to mess with. Um, uh, well, uh, yeah. Soon, maybe. But at least it was defeated. No casualties on our other, either side. And we can just carry on planting some, uh, some corn, finally. Finally some farms in, so that's great. It seems our walls are pretty much done as well, so all we gotta do now is just place a few more roof bits. And this also means that as soon as that is done, we could have our first specialized... Well, I guess we have already a specialized room, but what I mean is we can have a dining area. Yeah, let's do that. Put a few roof bits on top as well. Go back. Yeah, the menu is definitely taking me some time to get used to it. Uh, right, so a few more floors to do in here. Once that is done, please build a roof on on this building as well. Oh, I guess we'll have to go a little bit higher. What just happened? Oh, we've already done it. Uh, okay. That's great. I, yeah, all right. Well, Stu can level up now. Level seven. Cooking, nursing, building, and crafting have improved, so that's great. Let's have a look at Steph here as well. Steph is now level 7 too. And while you look at that, melee, mining, foraging, crafting, ranching, and hauling. Wow. Steph, that's uh, that's amazing. Which means we also have bronze hammers now. Oh, we are definitely... We've got some catching up to do when it comes to building and crafting in this game. Our levels are way beyond of what we are having, and I guess uh, that's partly because um, we've just focused on getting the foundation in. And Stu is now learning how to build the wooden stairs, so let's give this a priority. As soon as that is done, uh, we can have access to the higher levels and expand all the way over there. Fantastic. Well, Stu seems uh, tired, so he's gone to bed first, but the others are are now done as well. So we'll skip the night, then we'll be back tomorrow. Here we go. Let's check the latest and greatest gossip as well. So Sizzle over here as a Sizzle and Egret. Okay, great. Very surprised that we haven't had a lot of travelers come by. I think in the other two games that I uh, had a little practice run, we had uh, visitors literally all the time just stay in our in our colony and uh yeah okay we got the stairs in which is great Stu, you're still learning you're a bit of a slowpoke aren't you but um what's happening here we don't have enough corn seeds but that's already a plenty of corn food reserves oh they are going down a little bit so how about we mine some or gather some more october berries were they the october berries yes they were and why Oh, we don't have enough wood. Well... And... Here we go. We've got some... Some visitors. Finally. Let's see if we can... Uh, recruit some of, some of them. So we're gonna go through the dialogue. Uh, where are they? Are they humans? Or... Yes. Okay. Great. Humans. I was trying to keep the the same race in this colony, so that way their likes are most likely to be very similar. But okay, I'm gonna go through this dialogue and I'll jump back once we hopefully will be able to recruit someone. 
All right, and sadly it seems, uh, what was his name? Not Andrew. The other one uh, is disappeared. I don't see them right now, but uh, they don't really want to join our colony because because our prestige is really low. Oh, here he is. That's Dixie. And yeah, when clicking on him as well, uh, his ambition is 282. That is way higher than what we can provide right now. But oh well, we'll try and aim for uh, someone with a uh, slightly a lower ambition in the future. Let's level up slow and as well. Now we get ranged cooking, foraging and hauling upgrade, which is a very great indeed. But yeah, overall, a uh, bit of a shame we couldn't recruit them. But it's okay, there is also Toe here, who might potentially want to join us, but the thing is, um, yeah, he's an orc. Yeah, we could get, try and recruit her, but uh, it really depends what they're, what they like, and uh, well, I guess the only way to find out is when we when we talk to him. So let's have a quick look what he likes as well. And I think uh, no, unfortunately, Toe is not gonna be the right fit for. For our colony, uh, doesn't really like humans, doesn't like big height, and I mean we could have him, but yeah, we'll we'll try and um, find someone else in the in the future. Another thing, we could probably try and trade with them as well. Let's see, I think Dixie had the highest. Uh, what do they have? Ooh, quite a quite a few things. We could buy another cow, but the unfortunate thing is we don't have a lot of money. Uh, some of those helmets, plus three in farming and foraging. Ooh, that is actually pretty tasty, but there's no way, no way we can afford it. Unless we started selling food, but that's something we probably want to keep. Uh, yeah, that's a, that's a bit of a bit of a shame. And there's nothing else. Uh, this picking orc leather helmet would be great. And the architect's fine cloth hood as well, but it's just so, so pricey. Oh, five cleaning, melee, and farming. But no one really likes that. Oh, actually, because it's orc leather. Ah, fair enough. Well, that's okay then. All right. Well, our colony has progressed quite nicely. We've got all three bedrooms, and we're now starting to uh, move vertically up as well. Uh, with the farm being in place, and we've established. Let me try again. We've established some uh, connections with our neighbors. I think we're at a good point to end this video now. I'll do some a little bit of off-camera building here to get us a bit more further. And in the next one, hopefully we can work towards uh, recruiting a new person. And while you look at that, we now have a cow tamed who is also going to produce uh, some milk. But yeah, uh, thank you very much for, for joining us in this episode. And I look forward to seeing you again in the, in the next one.